9. How Brince Mateen Spends His Billions We all wish to have a royal life, right? How many of us know what is really happening in their lives? Well, welcome back to another episode of Best Royal Affairs. Today, we are going to discuss the most handsome prince in Brunei and how Prince Mateen spends his billions. Wake up from your dream and like and subscribe to this video if you enjoy it. Also, press the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos. This is Bruneian Prince Abdul Mateen, who hails from the South China Sea and Malaysia surrounded island of Borneo. He was born on August 10th of 1991 to Puan Hij Miriam, the second wife of His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassanal Bolkaya, the Sultan of Brunei. 2003 saw the couple's divorce. Putera Mateen's real name is incredibly long. Duriang Terama Mulia Paduka Seri Pangiran Muda Abdul Mateen Ibni Kebawa Duli Yang Maha Mulia Paduka Seri Baginda Sultan Haji Hassanal Bolkaya Mu Izadin Wadula. The tenth child born to the Sultan, who is thought to be worth $20 billion, he is one of the five sons and seven daughters in the family. He has a really amazing life, spending time in bedrooms fit for a king, complete with what appears to be a leopard cub, palatial looking spaces, wearing obscenely expensive timepieces, and frequently being surrounded by luxurious vehicles. He frequently makes appearances with expensive looking exotic animals such as cub tigers, and reputedly refers to himself as the father of tigers. He also seems to travel a lot, perhaps on the Mediterranean cruise or riding a horse in the water. The 31-year-old prince is one of the most gorgeous veterans in the world and has more than 2 million Instagram followers, but he has no immediate plans to wed. Martin is also fairly knowledgeable about the UK. St. Andrews' school in Bandar Seri Bagawan, Brunei is where Prince Martin completed his elementary education. Paduka Seri Bagawan Sultan Science College and Jerudong International School, two of Brunei's leading institutions of higher learning, are where he completed his secondary education. He graduated from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in 2011 and is currently a lieutenant in the Brunei Army, which he described as the greatest thing he has ever done. He admitted to being one of the youngest candidates when he entered Sandhurst at the age of 18 to GQ Thailand. Sandhurst is really a 44-week torturous leadership, mental and physical strength camp that essentially tests your capacity to perform under great strain, he stated. Prince Mateen was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant on April 15th of 2011 after completing the commissioning course at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the United Kingdom. The Borneo Bulletin reported that Mateen was later elevated to the rank of substantive lieutenant on July 9th of 2012. On August 31st of 2016, he received an acting captain promotion which took effect on May 9th of the following year. On April 28th, 2017, he finished a seven-month elementary flying training program at the RAF in Cranwell. Later, in March of 2018, Prince Mateen graduated from the Defence Helicopter Flying School at the RAF in Shawbury and received his flying brevet from his father. Prince Mateen was promoted to Major on May 20th of 2021. Prince Mateen completed the All Arms Commando Course AACC, for the Royal Marines later that year at the Commando Training Centre Royal Marines or the CTCRM in the UK for 13 weeks from September 20th to December 2nd. A digging exercise, according to him, was the toughest thing that he underwent at Sandhurst. He told GQ that the instructors would try to physically wear him or her out to the point of collapse. We had to dig trenches for three days straight, non-stop, without sleep, and every time I started to fall asleep, the instructors would kick me and wake me up. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do because at the end, after being physically exhausted and past my limit, they made us think and solve problems. Later, he got a Master of Arts from the School of Oriental and African Studies SOAS, at the University of London. Whilst residing in the UK, he had a few above-average weekend getaways. He also played a lot of football growing up and is a fan of Manchester United. He admitted to GQ, 
Honestly, I was a huge football fan growing up, and David Beckham was my biggest idol. Even now, I think he's a fairly incredible guy. According to The Culture Trip, he played for the Bruneian football team AM Gunners. His passion for athletics and sports knows no bounds. After engaging a teacher while living in London, he discovered a passion for boxing too. He is now interested in learning mixed martial arts, especially Mai Tai. He enjoys playing polo and this year represented Brunei at the Southeast Asian Games in Malaysia. According to him, everything that keeps him active and healthy makes him happy because he was in the military. Being active and maintaining fitness level is very essential to him because the instant he feels it slipping, it makes him feel uncomfortable. Golf, skiing, diving, rowing, and even bungee jumping are all ways that he will use to stay active. He enjoys flying a lot, which is not surprising given that his father owns a helicopter and pilots his own plane. He declared in an Instagram post that he always supports Brunei. According to the Daily Mail, he participates in several charities and spoke about terrorism in 2015 at the Commonwealth Head of Government's meeting at Malta. He was awarded the Royal Family Order of the Crown of Brunei, the Most Exalted Order of Famous Valor, the Pingat Hassanol Bolkaya Sultan, and the Sultan of Brunei Golden Jubilee Medal. His father's estimated net worth is $20 billion or £15 billion, thus he has a rather opulent existence. He appears to spend a lot of time relaxing on beautiful beaches or petting wild animals, plays a lot of polo, and flies around in his private planes. The prince was described as a grounded man who doesn't want to flaunt his family's money, and as being more interested in the simple life, his passions, time with family and friends, and his other honourable pursuits. This was all said in an interview when GQ Thailand interviewed him at the age of 24. Many women around the world would yearn for a man like him, but they have no chance because the prince already has a girlfriend. Years ago, he said he was searching for a woman who is sincere and real. Now, we can say that he probably has found such a woman, and rumors suggest that his future wife is Anisha. If you don't know Anisha, she is a distant relative of the royal family and was allegedly dating Prince Mateen. Anisha is reported to be the granddaughter of Pearl and Issa Helen, a prominent figure and minister of Brunei Jerusalem. Although little is known about her objectives, it's obvious that she comes from a wealthy family, making her the best person to marry a prince. Even though the young woman distances herself from the public on social media, Prince Mateen's social media post featuring them at the wedding thrust her back into the spotlight. The responses were sufficiently intriguing. The list of comments includes naive ones from internet users like, It's going to be our turn next, while the other comments appeared to be made out of a heartbreak. However, with that said, we do come to the end of this video, so if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get notifications on our upcoming videos. Thank you very much for joining us, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video.